So as a, an idle game developer, just a game developer in general, and someone who teaches people how to make an idle game, uh, I feel like that this is necessary to address my channel. As of the recent news on Congregate, they are pretty much just going down the shithole, okay? So, uh, yeah, they released this post uh, 1st, of July, 1st of July, and I'm not going to read it because it's boring. And basically, sum it up, most chat rooms are gone. Um, uh, some of them are starting, like, the Synergism, that one's staying. Um, idle Pins, that one's gone. So, yeah, that will start around July 22nd. Um, new people will no longer be able to publish their games on Congregate, and that is a huge, that's a huge red flag when it comes to new indie devs uploading their games for, on a free platform, okay? So, that just really sucks, because this site is so old, and that has brought a lot of people into this community in general, and it's, it's sad to see this go, but if you want to check this out, just simply search, you can just search up Congregate Important Announcement, and you should find that pretty easily. But yeah, here's the post. I'm not going to really uh, read this. And they're also locking a bunch of forums, I guess, and just uh, that kind of stuff. And my opinions on it, like, why do they, why do I think they're doing this? I think that sh I, it can't be money related, honestly, because they, ha they, a lot of people are playing on this site. Like, see, 27,000 people, this is starting to drop like crazy because people are starting to move their games to different platforms and stuff like GitHub, and people are just not liking this in general. And so this, it's definitely not money, okay? I think it's the, f it's the fact that Flash and WebGL is just at a con, it's just at a state where it's, n people aren't really wanting to use that anymore, and it's, starting to fade away and yeah people are starting to use their desktop games now so okay so where to go next if you want to publish your game somewhere online i would go maybe go to I personally i've never used armor games but i've heard you can see there's tons of idle games in their category so i don't know how to i don't know how it works there but this may be a good place to check out um Make if you're making a game with JavaScript, okay. So GitHub is a very good place. You can even host your WebGL game on GitHub, but again, WebGL is not that good to mess with, and I hate building to WebGL, and it's just so like outdated. And Unity needs to kind of do something like this, where they can compile into a game like Antimatter Dimensions on uh github or you can host it on github like this but there's that so you got those two options you have cartridge so i like cartridge it's very easy to get started there another one is itch.io okay so this one's these two are pretty unknown which is the issues is that people say cartridge is dead but i'm i don't know i like cartridge like obviously it's like a free indie dev, uh indie dev version of steam and there's no upfront fees in order to publish your game, so I think that's just really nice. You actually get some mediocre downloads. See, my crypto clicker is on here, like barely any advertising, except for like on the. Hold on, let me go to my analytics. Except for like uh, Desolver's Plaza, um, which gets lots of visits and using the certain tags. So I get some pretty good downloads here, and it's been like maybe a few months. Yeah, since May. It's doing pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with how many downloads it gets from, like, literally just not promoting itch.io because I really don't, okay? I just provided the link in my downloads on Discord and the Plaza's D-Solver website. So I do that. And freaking my crappy idle population game has over 4,000 downloads. And I, again, I just have that one YouTube video and some other development-related stuff. So, I mean, it it's free, so if you don't, if you're not wanting to pay any fees, there you go. There are some platforms people are willing to download cartridge player game, just because some people are not willing to pay the one hundred dollar fee for Steam, as I did, and that's why I want to publish my game as well. Now, it may seem silly to you or to some people. Why would I publish on itch? and cartridge when I can just only do Steam. Well, again, it's really nice to have it on multiple platforms because you can reach, uh, even if it's just a little bit more audience, right? And new people too. You wanna gather new people into your community, right? It's not gonna be just Steam 
Android or iOS, you're going to find some new people on itch.io and Cartridge that you won't find on these other platforms too. Even though, even though those are the most common platforms, you'll still find that some of the new people, just because again, there's less games on here or not. I mean, not less games, but I guess just not like hits, I guess we can say a uh, little bit less competition than there is on steam. Steam is a really high competition because there's a lot of uh, game titles up or high quality game titles on there. And honestly, itch.io and Courage are so easy to manage. It just, why not? It's, I think it's worth the little effort that you need in order to publish here. Okay, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's not a normal video. I just wanted to put my two cents into the situation. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave me down, uh, leave me a comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next, uh, let's see, what's the next video? I think tomorrow I'm going to do Android building for the Unity Idle Game video, or Idle Game tutorial series. So if you are interested in that, make sure you tune into that. Anyways, see you there. Bye.